So this one can be easily the picture we have two textbook. Yes. Hmm? The book or data sheet, right? Like data sheet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Data sheet or spec. Okay, and then we have a low voltage, a high voltage, a low voltage, the impedance, the resistance, and then the bus impedance, the bus here, the bus we using the two metals, six one multiplied by sixty bus, and we have the parameter the bus, the uh, resistance and inductance, right, and also the cable. You can easily to find the cable value from the some textbook here and multiply by the length. The length is 50 and 40, right? Matters. And then all the parameter of the system can be found, can be found, right? Okay. Go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then we uh, go to the second step. It can create a short current, short current, short current at uh, L1. And first, we convert all the parents mm -hmm. of the uh, to the L1. Mm -hmm. And you can see we have I I and M T in here. Mm -hmm. Five, really five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two. Three, four, uh, or um, the current. Uh, Eight, three hundred and four hundred. We have it current. We have two kind of element in it. Uh, mm -hmm. it uh, that yes. And for component, we we have five. Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we can calculate the uh, the current source circuit current, right? in the L1 point and the peak value right using the coefficient mm -hmm. one 1.3 right only not 1.8 uh, and the second uh, is the uh, end I have a uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, can I choose one by uh, two it's okay it's okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. up to you okay okay mm -hmm. Even even uh, one point two five is okay. It's not a big deal. So the second is consider the the motor current, right? Yes. So we need to conduct the similar procedure, but let's consider the current. The current from the motor, right? Using this equation, right? And in yes, and in um uh have two case either we have consider the, the motor and consider the motor mm. and the different here uh, is the, the, uh, the, the, the impedance motor. of the cable number two, the cable number one, but the people's value is similar, right? Only the yes. two different here. And oh, okay. mm -hmm. And for the case to consider the motor, the motor, you have the increase, mm -hmm. uh, it increase because we have um, with more uh, element, right? It's not more elements, but we have more currents from the motor. But you, you can see that the increasing is not quite high because the motor uh, motor capacity is not so high compared to the system, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only it's high, but it's not really high as we thought. And that's all for the calculation in the sky of source circuit and thank you very much for for Kong Pei with great effort everyone. yeah we move to the next chapter any question so far any question 
maybe this one is one part of the cross examination. Okay. Any question more? No. Always. Linga Koi out there? No. Nguyễn Tuấn Trung. Yes. So today, Ngô Quang Vĩnh just presented the some very important example. Maybe it's part of the final examination. So I think that you should stay focused and understand all the content of the example. And so far, do you have any question? I think that uh, uh, move to the the last line. Uh, the Number eleven, right? Before. This one. Uh, the slide where uh, why is a uh, six point five I am the slide. The slide number. Uh, example number number two or example number one. The slide that we have the. I I I just don't know why. Uh, let, let me see. Let me see. Uh, it's a slide number. Slide number. Five right. Eleven. Eleven. Page eleven. Okay. Page eleven. This one, right? Service, yes. Service system. No. And the question is? Uh, no, pet, pet 10. Pet 10, okay. It's back to one. Okay. It's not a... Uh, I don't know certain. why I, IP is a... And it infills of 6.5 IM. This one, yeah, is, it can be determined by... Uh, many methods but you, you should remember only you need to be worried oh, okay thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see uh, how can i uh, introduce with you what the meaning of the zero point uh, six point five i i i get it somewhere but you just remember it's also okay Uh, okay, sure. Eleven, eleven, okay, eleven. Okay. Already eleven. That please. Eleven. Eleven. Sorry, I thought the seven. Okay, eleven. How important is inside this one? This one is circuit breaker, and we have the coil. The coil because. Uh, you should uh, know how to make the 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 like the uh, the aftermath or the circuit breaker. Uh, in the circuit breaker, we have the coil. Like, let me draw it for you. We have one the magnetic here and the coil, the current flow to here. And we have, like, for example, this one is for example, we have the uh, the current flow from here to here. And this one can be, can become the coin, right? 
inside this configuration to have the point. And this one should be considered in order to calculate the circuit breaker in the low voltage system. Okay, that. You can you can check it on on the spec of this one, okay? Always they provide with the spec. That's it. You don't need to know how to calculate in in this subject. Usually you can uh, you can check all the parameter in the spec or in the in the textbook and. And we, if I give you the exercise, we provide this value. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like here. The, the this value also provided by me, provided by me. On, you can check in the textbook if you desire a system. Uh, not really. It's some. Um, even spec of the device. For example, if you check this one, this one on the internet, you can see this value. Okay. But in Vietnamese, we have some like hands book. Okay. Any further question? No. Okay, it's time for the chapter number seven. Chapter number seven. Thank you very much for being we Zoom. Number seven. I could like to ask uh, Miss Mayumi. Mayumi, are you there? Yeah. Are ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for start, uh, should we have uh, three minutes or four minutes break? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So, I want to come back here like eight, uh, two part eight. Okay.
Uh, I'm sorry for waiting because I need to set up the <laughs> computer for my nephews. See also study online. Sorry. Are you there? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Mommy. Mommy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's get started. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What we have here? So in this chapter, in this chapter, we uh, have very important uh, part of this subject uh, that we need to decide which device should be used. The rated value, the parameter, the capacity, and on other thing else regarding to the select the device in the distribution system. Okay, so uh, this chapter divided into five parts. The first one is uh, uh, general information, how uh, we need to deal with uh, selecting the equipment in the power system. And the second is uh, uh, sizing of the conductors, the, uh, one of the very important part of the power delivery system. So the next one is the bar conductor, how to select the bar conductor. And some switching device in the in the distribution system for example the circuit breaker the low the high and uh, lever voltage level of the circuit breaker and the final one the uh, instrument transformer the voltage transformer the current transformer in order to put the signal into the measurement device or into the protective devices okay so today we will have the four or uh, maybe three presenter and the first and the second part uh, will be uh, explained explain by Miss Maomi. Uh, the, the, the third part is by Mr. Nguyen Minh Ching. Ching are there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. And the fourth pass by Mr. Nguyen Thành Chung out there. Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. And the final one will be sent by Mr. Chik Hong Bien. I'm here. Mm, good, everybody here. And now let's get started with the first person, Miss Maomi. Okay, hello guys. I hope you all keeping well. So today we are going to talk about the seventh chapter. Uh, I'm going to talk the first and second part of there. And uh, here is the generality uh, in their um, criteria for steady state operation. Uh, steady state operation. Uh, Full loaded current checked operational equipment utilization factor should be less than or equal to unit. Uh, and then criteria uh, is a uh, rated voltage U R um, greater than or equal U max system and uh, rated current greater than or equal um, I max. And uh, consideration there is uh, ambient temperature and the installation. Mm, okay, mm. Uh, excuse me, I would like to ask uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Ching, Mr. Bian, and Mr. Chung. Yeah, uh, you seem that you prepare for a presentation, so you understand well about this chapter. And I hope that you make the discussion with Mayumi uh, for any question you don't understand. So. Maybe you ask the right question in the right place compared to the other who did not prepare for this chapter. So it's okay, Ching, Bian, and Zhu. Okay. And okay, okay. And Chung, sorry, Chung. Okay. Uh, actually, this one is the very important, important point. In order to select the equipment, the first thing that it should operate stably in the steady state mode right in steady state mode it means the normal operations it should work well 
if you not work well in the normal operation, that means you select the right device, uh, wrong device, right? Right, mommy. Yes. Right. So that's why the criteria here is the voltage rated voltage of equipment is higher than maximum voltage of the power system, which are uh, where the the equipment connect to, right? Right. And the second value is current rated current flow through the equipment should be higher than the maximum current can flow into the equipment right for example if we have two lights in the case we two lights parallelly in the case we lost one line the other line should run the the current actually normally is flow in two lines that's why it's the 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 the, the line is not is still work we need to yeah flow the overload current right it's called the maximum current the maximum current means the case you run at the peak load and the very severe conditions for example we lost one line in the case of two parallel lines right okay okay my me but also we need to consider the ambient temperature for example you run you produce the equipment at 30 degrees but you bring the equipment to the sahara disease you need to run at the 60 or 70 degrees celsius you need to adjust the rated value right yeah. right or you bring yeah. to the north pole to Russia, very or Canada, at the very uh, cold areas, the running temperature is under zero degrees Celsius. For example, minus twenty degree, minus thirty degree. You also can adjust the rated value, right? Right. Right. And for the installation, for example, you put the light underground or put the light overhead so the condition also change and you can adjust the rated value of the line okay that is the point of this line yeah. you want to say more on this line mommy yes mm -hmm. go ahead okay mm. So we are going to talk about the criteria for short time operation. In here, I'm talking first uh, overloading. Uh, there, uh, load in uh, excess for normal rating, overload operation for safety reason, or overload for reliability requirement. Uh, the next one is overloading capacity uh, is the function of the overloading duration and depend on the cooling condition and the next one is uh, in design stage the overloading duration is assumed uh, to be the mean time to repair um, the in design stage the overloading duration is assumed means for reliability requirement uh, in that case, in USSR for transformers, um, KOL equal 1.4 for outside, for inside 1.3, as overloading duration is less than five days or uh, six hours per day, uh, initial utilization factor is less than uh, 0.93. The next consideration on the coordination with the overload protection. So, shall we go to the Is there any more explanation? Bien Chung and Ting. I think many things should be discussed in this slide. Yes, okay. uh, I think uh, this is just like the 
the uh, definition and uh, condition of uh, overloading so quite clear mm, quite clear right yeah yeah i see no uh, nothing is hard to understand here mm -hmm. how about you chung i think it's the uh, definition is the same thing uh -huh. i have the same idea with chung and ching uh huh. So, uh, <laughs> uh, actually, in my point of view, a lot of things to need to be discussed in this one. Even you, maybe you understand somehow you can understand, but maybe not very clear in the mind. I think yeah, because even me, yeah, if you don't have enough knowledge, uh, some some word in some some text here is difficult to understand. Mm, for example, yeah, the condition for the transformer have the overload is 1.4 outdoor. And what the reason why the indoor is smaller, 1.3 thing? Uh, I think because of the uh, uh, cooling condition, because uh, if you are outdoor, then you got air and the temperature is changing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite uh, quickly, but mm -hmm. if all you got air trapped in the room and mm -hmm. it is uh, harder to uh, cool down the transformer. Yeah, right. It's a good, 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 uh, good answer. And why is five days, six hours per day? And utilization factor is less than 0 0.93. Why? Ching. Yeah, I haven't thought about. It. I th I thought it was just like the. Uh, yeah. Let me think about. That. How about you, Bian? Uh, I don't. I don't know what we. Uh -huh. Just one the criteria is because like, uh, before you uh, live up, uh, maybe fifty kilograms, you should uh, eat enough. You should uh, in the good conditions, right? You have no ill, right? Before you do something very heavy, you should be in the good condition, right? Think, right? Uh, you mean like uh, no energy consume consumption? No, we have energy energy consumption, but the util utilization factor is lower than zero point. 0.93. If the utilization factor is 1.2, for example, it already overload. So this condition cannot be implemented. It's okay. No? Not quite clear. Can you explain again? Uh, for example, if you already have overload 1.2, okay. Okay. You cannot get another overload for a long time. Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So mm. the utilization factor, the factor is lower than the one zero point nine three, and you you can implement the condition here one point four. And sometimes it's zero point seven, for example, you can increase zero uh, one point five, for example. Okay. So yeah, okay. the condition before we have the overload of the transformer should be very, very good. And in order to return to normal operations, you cannot keep the transformer overload for more than five days. If you could the transformer overload for seven days or ten days, the characteristic of the transformer will be damaged and it cannot return to the normal operation anymore and the lifetime of the transformer may be reduced it is okay okay the overload ability means you can have its overload but after finish the overload you can let the transformer become normal it is not lost any lifetime periods okay 
and this one is one the condition to let the transformer be overloaded. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the final point is consider the coordination with overload protections. Important. Important. Why? Why? Nguyễn Thành Trung. Why? Chung chung. Mm, I think. Uh... You know it because you prepare for the final section, uh, number four section, mean select the, some equipment like the fuse. Right? Uh, Bian and uh, and Ching, do you have any idea? Consideration of the coordination with overload protection. Ching Ching. Uh, yeah, I think uh, when the overload protection is something to increase the uh, loading uh, overloading capacity. Uh -huh. So when you calculating the ability to be overloaded, you mm -hmm. should uh, also consider the overload protection and depends on the kind and the uh, device of overload protection. So you can like choose the uh, uh, correct parameters. Yeah, it's okay. But uh, actually, for example, the protection system will chip, I mean, cut off the circuit breaker whenever the current is higher than, than one value. Okay? So if you let the overload mean the current is higher than normal, if at that point the overload, you, you trip <laughs> the protection devices, it means wrong operation, right? You should not trip in the case of overload, right? The protection device should not trip or cut off the circuit in case of overload. So that's why you need to make a coordination with the protection device. For example, in a normal operation, the circuit runs with the one ampere and the overload is 1.4 amperes. But if you select the protection device, it will trip at the 1.3. It's wrong selection, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is the point. Yeah, it's okay. Point. So you should select the protection device, which cut off the circuit in the case of 1.9, for example, 1.5, for example, 1.6, for example. Okay. Okay, I understand your point. So let's move to the next slide. Um, we are st still talking about the criteria for short time operation. In there, we're talking about the short circuit. First, a requirement for uh, equipment stability against uh, mechanical and thermal stress have to be satisfied. Um, um, and uh, second one is criteria. Uh, therefore, thermal short circuit uh, with um, stand capacity uh, is uh, greater than or equal ITH um, square root of uh, TK over square root THZ. Here, um, ITH is thermal equivalent short circuit current and TK is uh, short uh, circuit duration and uh, T, uh, TH is it is rated short circuit duration and the second one is mechanical short circuit uh, withstand capacity IM is a uh, grip than or equal IP IP here is peak short circuit current um, I think there was so 
you need more explanation. I think maybe uh, Chính or BN uh, and they can have for the information because maybe they appear in our part. Chính BN and Chung. Uh, okay. Wait, which part uh, do you want to uh, do want to be explained uh, specifically, Mel? Me. No, actually, I think um, um, like like before, I think that. Um, if there is something need more uh, important, we I think we should uh, explain more. But uh, if it's clear, we can skip this and uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good point. Uh, so in this slide, so the the important uh, characteristic when you uh, you select the devices, uh, I mean the equipment. Uh, because normally sometimes yeah, you you work uh, you operate the equipment in the normal on the overload condition but very important sometimes we have the short circuit condition in the short circuit conditions so in the case of short circuit the equipment should yeah stay stably and should uh, I mean uh, should not be damaged okay before you know that on the protection system include in the power system before the protection device cut off circuit in order to isolate the short circuit current so the device should tolerate a very short duration of the short circuit current so the short circuit current may be make the thermal very high thermal effect and a very like unstable mechanical effect. So if you select the device, got the criteria. For example, using this equation regarding the thermal effect, and this equation regarding the mechanical effect, the equipment could be used. Okay, and to understand this one, maybe later. But this one easy to understand, right? The peak value we can calculate from previous chapter, and this one the the mechanical value is from the spec of the, the equipment. Okay, let's move next. Yeah. Um, here, uh, the slide is uh, balance the economic uh, optimization. I think you all can remember uh, we have already studied this uh, in the third chapter. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, but in here I would like to um, explain something a little bit uh, to as a reminder. Um, in the up, um, in here, the blue color line is. Uh, um, uh, cost for the uh, ONM. ONM means the operating and maintenance, and uh, the dark red color line is um, capital cost, uh, and the uh, uh, red line is the uh, cost function and the total cost. And I think we no need to more explain about this because we have already learned before. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, I think so. <laughs> yeah, we, we learned this in chapter 3, so no more explanation. Scary law. <laughs> uh, there, uh, we have already talked about what are the uh, operating and maintenance costs for, uh, and what are the capital costs and uh, I think... That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the point of this slide is when you consider on the technical issue in selecting devices or equipment, you also consider about the economical. That means you want to have a very good 
high quality equipment but you don't have enough money you should consider the the, the, the financial issue also okay yeah yeah maybe you can yeah uh, build very uh, very long and very uh, very big power line but <laughs> it costs a lot so we need to trade off between two criteria right technical issue yeah. and economical issue right yeah yeah and we move to the very important part is to sizing the conductors conductor is one of the uh, two very important part of the power system and to select the right power line size you can to to have the system run reliable okay yes i think there's something more in this slide uh, um teacher there's something um about the uh, gauge explanation for the american gauge ah, yes. okay, okay. <laughs> so uh, here's uh, something about the now we are going to uh, talk about the conductor sizing. Um, here's the standard. Um, here is the uh, IEC means the International Electrotechnical Commission. Uh, I think they they are the one who um, published the document standard document for the uh, electrotechnicals. Uh, so then. Um, 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 in this uh, chapter, we are uh, talking a lot about the, this document and a lot of um, reference from that uh, that uh, IEC uh, uh, published document. And uh, here, uh, another thing is American wire gauge, uh, which is called AWG. I think you have uh, you all have something idea about the gauge. Um, because we normally, uh, uh, when we are going to a shop buy something um, like wires, uh, uh, the gauge is um, a very important thing. And we, I think you, you can uh, have idea about the gauge already. So these two tables um, uh, shows the uh, gauge and the casing meal. I want to tell something about the casing meal. Uh, I don't know whether I'm correct pronounced this or not, but um, casing meals is thousand of uh, circular meals. Uh, circular meals is the area of the wire, one meal in the diameter. So here is the um, uh, equation for one casing meal equal 0 0.5 mere um, square millimeters so this table shows um, uh, how is the gauge actually i don't know how is the factor is the vietnamese word or not english word or not i don't know <laughs> code day I, I don't know about that but anyway i think that is the size mm, or a gauge uh, and uh, this two table shows uh, the uh, American wire gauge and casing mills of wires of conductors. I think mm -hmm. so. I don't know if I'm correct or not. Teacher? Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Yeah, <laughs> somehow it's correct. Yeah. Is a measurement devices, right? You know, to yeah. select the right size of the cable. And uh, you need a little bit uh, like international, you need is not uh, similar to Vietnamese, you need the K mil, KC mil, right? In the, to uh, remove the pi's value inside. And the uh, K mil, KC mil, right, is like uh circular meal is similar to the uh, square of the square of the diameter right yeah and the area is square of the diameter 
and it's related to the inch, inch, and millimeters. Uh, Chin, you have any ideas about this one? Uh, <clears throat> uh, like, uh, what what do you mean by ideas? Like, I think this is a table for the size of um, conductors, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Just uh. uh <clears throat> yeah, I, I just uh, like wondering about the 1 over 0 and 2 over 0 on the bottom of the second table. So, what, why, why do they have to like uh, use the number 1 over 0? 1 over 0? Yeah, under... I also have no ideas. Anybody have the ideas? This is called the size, and uh, it's under the standards. And uh, you can see one above uh, over zero. So uh, the size of the conductor can be fine, but the meaning is over zero here. Anybody have the idea? No. <laughs> Yeah, very good question. Check it out, okay. But, um, but sometimes you need to follow the standards, that's all. And to get it more understandable, you need to yeah, search a lot. Bien, Bien do you have any idea? Um, when I search in the internet, um, uh -huh. um, 1 over 0 equal uh -huh. Only zero. Uh, I'm uh, two over zero um, is um, zero real. Um, it, it, <coughs> it is a, a white side, not a white side. Um, it's um, a side sim symbol for the white side. <laughs> Yeah, so why don't you think it's a 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 is lower, lower? I think uh, um, by showing 1 of 0, 2 of 0, it means um, by, by, um, but think, uh, we, we can see the uh, square millimeter factor there. It's a too large a conductors. That is normal, normal sense, normal sense. Yeah. Okay, uh, it uh, well, can be checked it, uh, later, but we should move to other part because this one does a sizing at the table and using the American standard, uh, the gauge in order to measure each value of the uh, diameter, okay? Let's see what you have here. Mm -hmm. It might be explained a lot. You just listen to her, right? The gauge. Mommy, please an answer his question again. Sorry, can you repeat it? He asking you what the meaning of IWG. AWG is the American wire gauge. Uh, it's um, it is about the standard uh, of the gauge. Get it? Gauge. You can see on the uh, slide. Yes. So slide has this. It just a. Uh, it just a measurement is it just a um, standard for the gauge. Okay, okay move to the next one. Your okay, hand. Here. Me. okay, here we are going to talk about the current carrying capacity. Uh, here current current capacity we call it ampacity. Um, uh, the maximum current which can be carried constantly by the conductors 
under a specified condition without its steady state temperature exceeding a, a specified value. And um, I think you can take some idea about the current carrying capacity. Uh, it should be, um, it, is, uh, it is the maximum current which can be carried uh, throughout the conductor and uh, and uh, follow all the condition uh, like um, steady state uh, temperature like so so now we can uh, calculate the current carrying capacity uh, like follow equations mm -hmm. this uh, one you learn in the chat number two Two, yes, we have already learned about this in chapter two, one point two, I think. Um, so, do we need? Do I need to explain more about the, this equation and the variables here? It's okay, but if anybody have a question, you can discuss more. Sure. No question. Okay, well, next one. Uh, okay, uh, the reference uh, ampacity, um, which uh, we are symbol as IR, for overhead aligned uh, bare con conductor. Uh, therefore, we have an inequality for it. Um, IR greater than QC plus QR minus QS, sorry, Sorry, I'm very sorry. Uh, I R greater than or uh, equal square root of uh, Q C plus Q R minus Q S over R A C. Q C here is a uh, converted heat loss, and Q R is uh, radiated heat loss. Q S here is heat gained from sun. Our AZ is nominal AZ resistant at the operating temperature. Mm -hmm. And um, um, so another kind of condition to select the rate value of the conductors. And uh, in the in the in the international uh, international standard, they also have many tables in order to check out the condition. For example, here we have the the factor, the factor influence the condition of uh, conductors, ampacity, right? And you can select, select the, the the value from here. For example, um, um, uh, ambient temperature 25 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius. In the case of conductor temperature 75 degrees Celsius. Okay. It okay, means go, that go, go, um, if we if we change um, any factor here, we have another table for that. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the temperature, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, we can see here um, um, a table uh, how the how effect uh, for the uh, um, MP ampacity by, by, by the wind and by the temperature and um, as the teacher said uh, I am also think that uh, if the any factor change here uh, we can have another uh, data sheet like this so do you have any question here yes the other um, they are the main factors uh, for the um, uh, effect to the uh, ampacity. They are ambient temperature, wind speed, and solar heating. Uh, this table shows how they affect to the ampacity. Um, that's it. Okay. Yes. So the side here, right? The conductor is tight. And in the condition, it change either many uh, like the wind. The wind, the current can be increased, right? No wind is lower, right? Because the if they had the wind, right? Mean, what does mean is stranding one over six like second column? 
it's running. Anybody yeah. have the idea? Yeah. Maybe it's, uh, it's uh, based on the uh, line. How many? How many? How many? Uh, how many uh, line? How many strand in one line, right? Because the line actually have many strand inside. How many? Many parts inside, right? Okay. Yeah. For example, it's, it it uh, consists of six small lines inside, right? And some cases have the seven small slides inside. Okay. Okay. So we can see that in the case of the uh, the wind higher speed, uh, we can uh, increase the current, right? Because the uh, converted uh, condition is is easier. Yes. It's okay. Any question more? Any further question for you guys? So sometimes we can see uh, the the table in the some standard. You can easily get the ideas what the meaning. Of. Yeah, asking yes. the question of stranding, and for my understanding that that point. How many uh, how many uh, small line inside right? You know, cable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, move to the next one. The configuration uh, of the, the light construction might be impact on the current carrying capacity. Yes, here we are going to talk about the reference ampacity for cables depends. Uh, the uh, ampacity uh, for cables depend on uh, conductor materials. Conductor materials means, I think, uh, what is the metal we use for the conductors? Uh, normally, I think, normally, mostly use aluminium. Uh, and the second one is the insulation materials. Uh, insula uh, when we are thinking about the insulation material, we have to think about the maximum temperature rise. We all know when the um, conductor carrying the uh, current, uh, the temperature increase because of the resistance, uh, because of the resistance. So then uh, we have to think about the maximum temperature, the conductor rise. Um, to select the insulation material for it. Uh, so in the in the in here we can see a graph mm -hmm. of uh, a table for the um, insulation materials um, for the um, maximum temperature and what is the suitable um, material for the insulation there. Uh, I'm talking about uh, figure G11 and the uh, next one is the um, uh, is the type of insulation installation uh, for, there are nine reference method of uh, insulation they are A1, A2, B1, B2, C, D, E, F and G and um, here's a table that's showing how is the installation uh, described about the A1, A2, B1, B2, C, D, E, and F, and G. Mm -hmm. So uh, in that case, uh, you can see here, I think it is very easy to understand um, by the picture. Uh, A1 is um, here, insulated conductors in conduit uh, in a thermally insulated wall, um, I think you can um, clear by uh, you can make a clear idea by seeing this picture. Okay, here. okay, sure. This one is not really uh, important, so we don't have enough time left. This one, this way, the way the, in the standard uh, we make the installation for the the cables. So uh, each method have uh, influ uh, influence on the. Uh, on the uh, current carrying capacity, so we can read it at home. And we'll move to the next one. 
Uh, here also uh, um, we are described more about the installation and this uh, uh, the um, this table shows the uh, current carrying capacity in amperes yes. for the method of insulation. Yes. So in here uh, we can see um, um, insulation mat uh, materials. Uh, and ambient temperature and line materials. I think this um, table shows uh, how it affects to the um, ambient. Uh, we, uh, we are talking, we have talked the uh, previous slide. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, you can see. Yeah, see when, uh, this one is like the, the highest, right? right highest. Yes. So underground. <laughs> and this one may be the lowest. Okay, we move to next one. Yeah, I think it's not enough time for you to finish the second part if you not speed up because your hop only might be fifteen minutes left. Okay. Yes. Um here we are going to talk about the loading capacity under normal operating condition. Um, uh, here we have an equation for this. Uh, I z equal I r multiplied by f uh, greater than or equal I b. Uh, I z here is current carrying capacity in real operation. I r is uh, current carrying capacity in reference operations. F is a correction fact factor for the real operations. IB is the maximum uh, continuous current in the normal operation. So um, here's uh, some example for this. Um, in here, mm -hmm. they already given uh, us to uh, IB equal 120. So here's the equation, I is it always um, greater than or equal to IB. So uh, here, um, and uh, they given us a, a lot of uh, correction factor also equal 25 square meters. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. um, I Z, I think, um, is it should uh, 140. Mm -hmm. So it should be okay. select. Uh, you should select yeah. uh, the um, uh, the rate is higher than the uh, the maximum value. But yeah. uh, maybe in the few next slides, you will see that uh, sometimes it's an economical. Uh, selections methods we select is lower than the maximum value. Mm -hmm. This one, yeah, it should be select the 25 meter square cable. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the inequality for this uh, is um, I is it greater than or equal for uh, than I B. So why why we cannot use uh, 35 and 166? Is it not greater than? You cannot. Yeah. It's so much higher in this course. This one is maybe is damage. Oh, okay. Uh, but remember the factor here. The factor is will be explaining next slide, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, here we are going to talk about the correction factor. Correction factor equal F1 uh, multiply F2 multiply F3 multiply F4. So in below we are going to talk about what are the F1, F2, F3 and F4. F1 and F2 is a uh, the correction factor for the air or a ground. Uh, this two table shows um, the correction factor for the ambient air temperatures. And uh, the second table shows uh, the correction factor for ambient ground temperature. So then uh, the first table shows F1 and the second table shows F2. Mm. 
and uh, here F3 is the uh, sow thermal resist resistivity. Uh -huh. uh, the there is also the uh, table showing the correction factor for the cable buried ducts for the soil thermal resistivity. Uh, so I think now if we change uh, the, um, the factors there and the temperature be the uh, correction factor change uh, mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. But only can uh, yeah, yeah. define and select and check in the standard. And this condition is should like the engineers should check at the handbooks and the spike of the of the products. And uh, next uh, factor, right? Number four, right? Yes. Uh, fact number four. Uh, F4, uh, F4 is a uh, group of more than one circuit or more than one multicore cable. Uh, it, um, here is, we can see multicore cables here. Uh, this picture shows, and this table shows the reduction factor for more than one circuit cable laid directly in the ground. Uh, you can uh, have an idea by seeing this uh, table, part uh, F4. Uh, his number circuit and uh, the cable to the cable uh, clearance um, and uh, exchange, uh, there are the factors. Uh, yes, uh, the, um, yes uh, effect to the F4. Okay, I think this is done. And we'll move, maybe we'll move to the next one. And important to have uh, the protection coordination as I told you. Uh, in with this kind with 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 uh, thing, right? Meaning we need to make the cooperation. Maybe this one belongs to Miami, but you can understand it. Yeah. Mami, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Uh, now we are going to talk about the loading capacity under normal operation condition. We are still talking about this. So then here, uh, overload uh, protection coordination for low voltage cable. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we have in here, we have uh, two inequality. First one is uh, IB less than um, or equal IN. Mm -hmm. uh, less than or equal oh, I is mm -hmm. uh, the second inequality is I2 uh, less than or equal 1.45 uh, multiply with I is it in here I n is nominal current of the protective device I2 is the uh, current ensuring effect operation in the conventional time of the protective device. Um, in first case, uh, for protection uh, selectivity and conductor not to be overload, uh -huh. the first case uh, for the protection and uh, selectivity and the conductor not to be overload. And the second case for permissible overload uh, for 45% uh, for the conventional time. Um, and uh, so, <laughs> so <laughs> that, just remember this one is beyond the, some standards is not really uh, related to some uh, Vietnamese standards but it, international standards in order mm -hmm. to make the correct uh, uh, ordination with the protective uh, uh, devices uh, capability one, from here here 1.45 because of the 45 percent of uh, is it, um, it's from standard. based on the standard. The standard. Okay. You can check it some standard in like the uh, Snyder installation guys. Okay. Okay, let's move to the next one. Yes. Next Monday. Uh, 
Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, here we have two um, graph uh, um, showing the uh, graph uh, between uh, time and the uh, uh -huh. current. Uh -huh. And um, in first case, in first case, uh, we can uh, if the, when the protective device uh -huh. is fused, uh, the uh -huh. graph will be like this. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, if the uh, protective device uh, uh -huh. is a circuit breaker, the uh -huh. uh, Ralph will be like uh, the second case, mm -hmm. but I have no more uh, ideas to. Uh, <laughs> yes, for example, this one. The, okay, okay, I will explain. This one, is, I believe, T of the cable is maybe out here. It's going to be break, uh, yeah, damage. Okay. Uh, but this one is the protective device. This for the few is depend on temperature. It can be changed. Uh, for the uh, for the circuit breaker is the characteristic of the protective uh, curve is uh, is fixed and this one is normal operation sometimes have can be have the overload by this part overload but overload means you should not keep the, the protective device like this if you could hear the overload mean have the have the circuit breaker is closed are uh, open yeah? okay that's why the device's characteristic should be higher, higher, but it's lower than the damage characteristic of the cable. Okay. And all the parameters can be defined in the ab above slide. Above slide. And for the case of fuse, it defined by IN is lower than 0.5 IZ. And the circuit breaker is lower than this one. Uh, this one are like very fund fundamental ideas. It's not really important for you, for you to get to understand everything, but maybe this characteristic diagram is maybe okay for you guys because you maybe need to conduct some exper experiment with the uh, fuse and uh, the uh, circuit, uh, low quantity circuit breaker MCCB. And it's good uh, to get the understanding about this one. Okay, move to the next one. Mommy.